or fine um, textured coarse kinky um, hair so kinky hair and brown skin that's what I've got and I'm appreciating it so I'm not going to edit this video I'm just sharing appreciation of my hair which is very um, thin or fine um, textured coarse kinky um, hair so it's been natural since about 1989 um, 90 and I've gone through um, many many years well over a, a decade of rocking a short baldy with all kinds of beautiful designs um, cut into it to years and years of afro puffs and double stranded twists double strand twists and when I was traveling in Central America um, I didn't have access to all of my shea butters and oils and you know ants would constantly swarm around my oil and um, I would bathe in the creek which made my hair feel really great but I noticed there were lots of mineral deposits in my hair from um, that were inside of the creek water so it just kept getting tangled and I actually broke off a whole lot of my hair trying to get it out with the safety pin and eventually I just released it and just surrendered to if it's gonna lock let it lock and so it's been like going natural all over again learning my hair and its texture um, I would have loved to have big Congo Nazis but that's not um, it's, it's not what it is so um, some of them are growing together um, they started from double stranded twists which they locked up um, if anything there have been times I put coconut oil um, maybe in it sometimes or olive oil, but um, that's it um, Different citrus juices or juices um, that I've made inside the my own food prep area I've put inside my hair and that's it and citrus and food on my hair and skin But other than that there's no oil in it I've tried several times to put oil in it and it feels good initially, but then I notice um, especially in the tropical environment um, a lot of dust and things get caught up in there and you know my hair is so fine and delicate I don't want over time for it to feel so heavy as people with locks have told me um, the weight of it weighs down and I don't like the feeling of a whole lot of stuff on me jewelry and things and so I just want it to be light and free I need to have really really um, unsightly at least to me acne and lots of brown spots so it feels really good to not have to put um, makeup on and to feel comfortable um, in my um, own skin to not have to do a whole bunch of stuff to myself so I really make an effort to invest in healthcare, which is my fruits and my vegetables and nuts and seeds. Um, put something aside for emergency medical care, but I like to focus more on healthcare. And I just have other things to do. I wanna go play, I wanna move, I wanna be in the garden. So it's wonderful to not have to worry about makeup. And mind you, I did used to love um, mascara because I have pretty long eyelashes and it would make me make them almost look like they were artificial. But also um, exercising a lot and sweating a lot. And then in the States, the pollen in the air was starting to get caught in my eyelashes. So it just became like too much. So um, I'm just really enjoying my own hair and my skin. Um, it's rare that I'll get a breakout now of um, acne, perhaps around the time of my cycle and if I've eaten um, too many unsoaked nuts. And um, you know, those are a reminder to me that if I go back to the same habits, it'll come back. But it's just very freeing. I don't have to spend a whole lot of money on um, makeup. And it just feels really liberating to just enjoy my own hair and skin. It feels really, really light. I don't need a whole lot of products. Um, I've gotten used to, you know, what people might say is dry. I was like, it just feels like hair. Um, I don't have a bunch of scents in my hair. It just smells fresh and clean like, like hair, like nothing. But it's not leaving any stains on my, um, on my pillow. And some of them have grown together so I'm just enjoying this because they're doing um, what they want to do I don't think they look um, crazy it's not like I have they're well, not crazy but it's not like I have one big steel pulse lock and I'm one of those folks that has really really fine um, thin hair um, the Sun has bleached um, a lot of it but I'm okay with that so some of them are where I twisted it it just got tinier and tinier some of those are, are so tiny so I'm sure they're gonna break off, some have broken off, but it's really a point of acceptance. If I had a couple of locks, two or three locks hanging on by a thin thread, I would most likely I would I would think I would cut them off, you know, if it was looking crazy. But I felt really confident with them being um, really short. But now I just want the experience um, of just my hair. Now it is hot 
here um, where I am. So I'm fine if sometimes I'm gonna pull it up, but my hair does not like to be um, pulled on um, or tugged at. I can just intuitively feel like it's um, it's pulling too much at my at my roots. And um, I'm not worried about edges or anything. It's just wonderful to be able to relax into your own body temple and really love and appreciate your, yourself. So. Um, I'll keep doing, I haven't, I mean, I, I, one thing I will say, I always felt like they look awkward. Um, I love my, my crown, but I always felt like it looked, it was always like at an in-between stage. I feel like I'm in constant in-between stage. So it's a whole nother level of um, acceptance because they're not um, very, very dense. They're not very, very dense at all. And even if I was to twist it, it's very, very frizzy, so it'll be frizzed out immediately. But I'm like, that's what the hair, that's what my hair does. And the more I twist it, the thinner it gets. So it's like, um, it's really letting go of control because I, you don't know what it's gonna turn um, into. And the more I twisted it, the thinner it got. So, um, yeah, they're doing their own thing, but it just feels freeing, it feels healthy, and I really enjoy that it feels um, light. And I'm wondering if it's gonna get lighter because I'm not putting any products in it and I just massage it in the shower and my scalp feels nice and clean. Um, although I like coconut oil, I will say when I use coconut oil, I find that sometimes my scalp will itch. I love the scent of coconut oil, but I just don't like the feeling of anything clogging um, my pores or the heat oil running down into my face like I got a jerry curl or something. So um, this is I would say about, um, maybe this is two and a half, going on two and a half or three years. So I would say my hair grows really slow, but more so than that, it's, um, it's not very densely packed, more than it grows slow, and um, it has a tremendous amount of sh shrinkage. So shrinkage is very fine. It's not very dense. <laughs> so it's just it's it's such an acceptance of how I was born and uniquely came here to be. And um, I've got grays coming, and I'm just gonna celebrate every step of it and and appreciate. I'm just appreciating it. You know, I remember when I used to tweeze my eyebrows. They don't even grow back here anymore. It's just a whole lot of stuff. We could be doing a lot of other things. So it doesn't make it wrong because, again, I used to enjoy mascara. But I also remember um, my face being broken out so badly one time as a trainer, a personal trainer in a really nice um, gym. I had put makeup on my face because I just did not feel comfortable with big nodules and scars. And I would have traded anything when I used to be really, really ripped up, you know, or much more muscular. Um, I would have traded all the muscle in the world just to have free, clear skin. And I have to say, it's not from using any products. Back in the day, I used to use Proactive. It's all from food, whole, fresh, living food inside and out and putting food on my skin. So it's a lot less expensive and um, it's just very freeing and liberating to be comfortable in your skin and just to appreciate your own beauty. Yeah, so... Uh, I can tell you, it's like such a relief. If I eat a whole bunch of uh, unsoaked nuts, and if I'm eating mindlessly, my liver and my skin are gonna let me know it's too much, we can't handle it, and I will get a really unsightly response, but it's, it's really rare now, and it's, it's such a relief. So, this is, um, you know, <laughs> brown skin and fine uh, kinky hair, and I'm just full of appreciation, all right? Take care, please make sure that you um, hit the uh, subscribe button uh, and the bell so you can notify of whenever I upload new videos to this channel to this series um, just if you like to share and see um, what kind of growth and sometimes it'll look like it's white but it's actually if you were to see it up close it's actually almost like a blondish um, color it's been bleached so much from the sun and I will say I wash it a lot I don't like to feel things in my hair so here's what it looks like from the back Semi preformed and not um, so manipulated, it feels um, fuller. Also, oh, anyway, hit the subscribe button um, so you can be notified. Check out um, the other videos on um, whole fresh living foods if you're interested in living plant based and living. So, pretty much cooked by the, the sun, um, sun uh, heated foods or, and just fresh raw living foods. So, we don't have to worry about hair and um, food anymore. We can free that time up to be creating something else. Alrighty, take care. Take it away, Jess.